Joe, you had a great football career, playing for the Calgary Stampeders and also in university. Tell us about that a bit. Well, it's uh, nice of you to say that. I, uh, I, I was sort of, um, I was born and raised in Calgary and I, I got a football scholarship to Utah State University. And that sort of got me all going, uh, uh, apart from my high school football coach, first of all, name of Bill Casanova. And he was a lot, a lot like your relationship and mine. He was a mentor for me, and he sort of got the spirit going of, of actualizing your goals and, and reaching, you know, the pinnacle of what you can be. But uh, after I got this football scholarship to Utah State, I uh, attended there four years and I got drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles. And then at that time, there wasn't many Canadian athletes that got drafted in the NFL, and I was one of them. And coming from an Italian family, it was a kind of a, a real honor for me to be able to achieve those goals. But uh, I didn't make it to Philadelphia. I tried out, didn't make it, uh, and came to Canada and played for 10 years for the Stampeders. And uh, won a great cup in, uh, in the early 70s. And, uh, Accomplished a lot of goals. I, I finally, Martin, uh, I wanted to stay in to a point where I made the All-Star team. And you realize in 1976, I made the Canadian Football All-Star team. And when I got that award, I was finished. I was done. I know. So it's kind of ironic that that would happen. But. So you had a good football career. Then you enter into business. The Frizzani Group is one of the directors, partners in there. How did that all fit in, going from football into big business? Well, that's a good question. Uh, when, I, uh, when I finished uh, professional football, I got a teaching assignment. I was teaching at the time as well. So I was teaching during the day, and, uh, and I uh, went to practice in the afternoon. So it, was, uh, it made for long days. I mean, I was up at 8 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I, I got home at 9 o'clock at night. So you know, for two or three months, September, October, and November, uh, there were long days, but um, I really, really uh, had, had the goal of uh, what am I going to do after football. And uh, so teaching school was great. I did that for seven years, but I really didn't feel fulfilled. I, I guess from a, I, I, I sort of, from a financial side and from a uh, sort of a, a career point of view, I didn't feel that teaching was fulfilling all of my desires. And uh, my brother John had started the Frizzani Group, which was the athletic footwear and clothing stores in Calgary. And um, I was teaching school in Germany at the time, and he phoned me up, he said, hey, listen, would you like to come into business? Because he knew that I wasn't happy totally as a teacher. Mm -hmm. And so I came back to Calgary, taught one year, that's where I met you, at Springbank. That's right. And the following year, I um, accepted a, an invitation from John. He bought a store called Altoma Sports in Chinook Shopping Center. So I also met uh, Basil Bark, who I played football with for many years as well, and the three of us uh, became solid partners, and I joined the... And, you know, when I got into sporting goods, it was a different uh, sort of atmosphere. Um, it was very challenging. It was, uh, it was very, uh, you know, you had to be efficient every day. You had, to, you had to be organized. There was things coming at you left, right, and center, and you had to fight just to keep your head above water. But you know what? It was something that 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 I really liked because that's where the challenge of of what I was looking for sort of came and in, in, into my life, like sporting goods. And so I was in there for almost 27, 28 years. Worked closely with uh, with John. John was the CEO. He did a great job. John was one of the great visionaries in business. Uh, Basil Bark and myself sort of ran different parts of the company. And uh, you know, Martin, I. You know, I worked at it really hard, uh, and I was, we can talk about passion later, but I, I had a lot of passion towards being successful, towards being uh, on top of things, towards being sort of a, a visionary and try to have things, be prepared for things that are happening before they actually happen. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think by, with some of those qualities, it really helped me in business, and it really sort of uh, enabled me to to get a lot out of life, and I really enjoyed it. Right on, yeah, that was a busy time for you too, so. Well, yeah. Now, you go from football, a lot of fun, a lot of bang-ups there, going to business, bang-ups there. Yeah. Now, 
you're joining me on my team at Power Plant. Well, I think <laughs> that's a very good uh, point. I've gone from uh, sort of total retail down to manufacturing. And uh, you know, the manufacturing game is a, I, I think that's the toughest part of business. To be able to, to be able to create something that you have a passion for and a vision for, as I did in retail, but to be able to create it and sell it is a, is a very, very rewarding, I, I think, career. And, and, and you know, by following what you're doing, uh, you're, you're doing, you have a cause. And I, I think the cause being it's good for you, like it's good for you. Like there's so much, I don't know how people today can go home and sleep really well at night and make potato chips that are loaded with fat and, and salt and everything can be bad for the body and they have a good night's sleep. I don't understand that. I mean, you're making something that is like totally pure for the body that's gonna energize us, that's gonna actually live, have us live longer lives, more uh, smooth, more um, healthy lives. And uh, you know, uh, I can't think of a better way of, 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 of helping somebody or assisting somebody or mentoring as I did with you over the many years that we have. I, I'm just really excited about, about what you're doing and, and where you're going and where you're going to end up. Thank you. Well, basically I'm going to yank you out of retirement. <laughs> so. uh, no, I, I, I love it. I'm loving it. Excellent.